Well, what is going on, everybody? Hello, hello. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR, y'all. Ah, uh, today was a beautiful, beautiful day. Absolutely was. Mm -hmm. We got so much oh. stuff done today. Yes, we did. But a lot of it was the mundane background stuff that y'all really don't care about. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we had very big plans and ambitions to uh, come out and hit it on there, but then I started checking my email and stuff like that, and I re-remembered that deadlines and such and whatnot, and so I had to work on some other stuff, and um, that ended up making me have a full office day, and oh. Gary actually was helping me quite a bit with that, so it wasn't one of those days where we could divide and conquer. No. It was one of those days where we were both needed. But it's all right, because I was able to sort of goose frava and think about the next few steps that we have to do up there and everything and i've got a really good game plan ahead so yay should be going pretty smoothly tomorrow or today when you guys are watching this yeah we're still getting used to this we're still getting used to recording <laughs> the night before release yep. so but yeah today for y'all watching this and tomorrow for us should still be one of those really oh look at the bunnies back mm-hmm there's He's a I don't know if you guys see it or not. It is over there. Watch, I'll walk towards him and he'll run. I'll flip it. Huh? Oh, yep. Little bunny You've seen the little, little cottontail. You want to come to our cage? <laughs> He's all, no, I'm trying to get to your garden, lady. Oh, there's some good food over there. Yeah, go find your own garden. Go after all this other ragweed and everything else that's around. Not our garden. Yeah. Dogs are definitely sitting there. Hey, gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. No, buddies, no. <laughs> One day, but not two day. All right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, two day, <laughs> when you guys are watching this, you guys should be able to, uh, we should be able to get a lot of work done. We yes. should be able to get, hopefully, maybe we'll get some green up there on that roof. I'm hoping. I'm maybe, hoping. but maybe not because we also will have a very busy day planned for tomorrow as well. Our mountain home is gonna be coming over, um, Jen and Wiley, also working with Wiley. Yep. And um, Wiley actually is gonna do us a solid. Yes. Now here on Real Talk, we talked about it a little bit, I believe. Um, that our well was basically acting up and like giving us problems before we left to Florida. Yep. And then we had to have John come out and like replace it for us, which was awesome. Um, but we also talked to John and we've been waiting to get a sand filter put in for like a really long time. He needed to tell us like when, where we needed to dig and stuff. And we have all the info. So now we know where to dig. And we were talking with David, um, David's Uber's backhoe thing is needing some work and so yep. gary and i and anthony and rocks we were like oh we're just gonna have to shovel it and so over the weekend um lily which is jen wiley's daughter had a birthday party and stuff and we were just talking about like what our plans are in the upcoming week and stuff we mentioned yep. how like we need to get that done and wiley was like hey you guys know i have a tractor too right like i can come over and dig that hole for you guys we we're like what thanks man that's, that's, that's right you do <laughs> <laughs> would you want to you yeah. know and he offered so we're like heck yeah i'm gonna take you up on that offer so thank you wiley we appreciate thank you, thank you brother you. um he's gonna be coming over so gary and i are gonna work as hard as we can in the morning no and then um i believe wiley's gonna be coming over like post siesta time anyway yeah. so we should be able to get a good work day in and then have enough time for us to go and help wiley with whatever he needs help with yeah. Um, with getting that all done but yeah and then and then and then <laughs> we also have the black sheep project which is they're new youtubers yep. and we met them over at the um arkansas river valley homesteaders meetup that mike helped put on um and they are brand new neighbors to our area as well as like direct neighbors to jen and wiley and bobblehead over in that particular area yep. so we hung out with them for quite a bit at the meetup got to know them they're super awesome they totally fit in like perfectly with us and our personalities and all that stuff and um long story short they're going to be coming over 
as well. We're gonna have us a big spaghetti dinner. All the kiddos are gonna run around. We're gonna do like YouTube University and help them out with as much as I can possibly help them out with on the back end of things and just have some fellowship and hang out and stuff after Wiley digs a hole for us. And <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a good really, day. Really it's gonna be a really good day. Yeah, we've got, we've got a lot on the agenda for tomorrow. That yeah. is for sure. Here, I'll take that Sorry, from you. You look, little, you look a little woozy there, baby. I'm, <laughs> my I'm arm, long winded, okay? I'm sitting here, bark, 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 and Gary's like, can you shut up already? My arm. <laughs> I caught the cue, babe. I caught the cue. Uh, but yes. Anyway. <laughs> bark, 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 bark. It's going to be a good day, though. It's going to be a great day tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be a great day. Well, we brought you guys over here to our chickens, to the old Pecker Palace. And actually, we've gotten quite a few questions recently. A lot. Um, a lot. And I thought that we had talked about it. I'm pretty sure we did on a real talk or a live chat or a something somewhere. But we're just going to put it out there. I want to say we said it on a real talk. And I want to say that we said it on a live uh, chat itself on Simple Life. But we have never put it on Simple Life yet. Or, yeah, we haven't put it on like a video on, on Simple Life. On a video, Life. right? It's so. been really busy, guys. It's been a lot of back and forth and it's been non-stop go, 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 go. Traveling through states, babies being born, lots of work happening, meetups, you know, life, mm -hmm. summer. All that, all that fun jazz and everything else like that. Yeah, anyway. But anyway, coming to this area, we're over by our nursery where our turkeys were. And as you guys can see, there's no turkeys in there. I don't know what happened. I don't know what was going on with that batch. I don't know what, okay? But those four that we had in there, they just they just started dropping one by one. Every day there. we'd come out and there was one gone. And it was literally the week of the meetup. Mm -hmm. Like right when we, I think it started right when we got back from the meetup, if I'm correct. No. I don't think it any was, were dropping as we were. It was before the meetup. Was it? It was before the meetup and we had one. That was the lone survivor mm. and he lived for, or she or whatever, lived yeah. for four days because it was during the meetup time and everything. And then after the meetup was all said and done to like a day after the meetup and everything, after our rest day and everything and checking on him, making sure everything was still good, you know, come back out the next day in the morning. No more turkeys. Yeah. So. And it really sucks too. Like that batch that I got from Tractor Supply, I bought six of them. And the, the first two of them did not make it 24 hours. No. Like immediately were gone. And then the other four we were really hopeful for mm. because they got to make it to be at least like six weeks or seven weeks old. No, they made it. They made it to about two months. Okay, right eight around, weeks old. Right around two months. Like right about, you know, and that's. That's a good time to where it's like, okay, I you should be all right. About them anymore. You should be yeah, good. I, I wasn't worried about them. I and they wasn't. had plenty of food, plenty of water, plenty of shelter. Nothing was in the cage. Nope. It's don't clean. Know. It's like, clean. Like, I don't know what happened. It just one day, day, day after day, they just started dropping. So that's, that's what's up with the turkeys. The research I did on it and because I was like, what is going on with my turkeys? What, mm. what, what's up? And the research I could come to find out and everything else, the male turkeys of that breed ends up having a, a very high chance of having brain aneurysms. Mm. So that could have happened. Could have been something else. Now, who knows? These are, those were meat turkeys, you know, like they were bred to be, you know, meat. Yeah. So it's uh It does happen and it is unfortunate. Um I we have never tried to raise turkeys from a baby before. No. In the past when we had turkeys, it was always um full grown that we had purchased. No. And you know, they were already like 6 to months to a year old when we got them. So, I don't know. I think that's the route that we're going to go in the future is we're going to buy them already grown we're probably going to go to like a farmer's auction or something we're going to want to anyway when we go time to get our goats um, find a good breed mm -hmm. and know. goat time is coming up soon we got all of these chickens inside here you guys want to take a peek you guys want to see what they look like getting ready for bed they're getting ready for nine nights. getting ready for nine nice 
But once we fill our yes. freezers with all of these guys, this house that we built is for the goats. So here, let me turn the camera around really quick for y'all. Look how fat these guys are already. Wow. Oh yeah, they're, they're almost ready. Look at them. Mm -hmm. Pretty nuts. Basically like the end of this month, I think is about when. Mm -hmm. They're getting big though. They think they're getting food. They do. They're like, oh, the door is open for me. Now they gotta settle down again. Yeah, sorry guys, false alarm. False alarm, I just wanted everybody to see how fat you guys are getting. They sure are getting big really quick. Mm -hmm. But they're doing really well. They are doing super good, I'm really happy. <laughs> Chickens. <laughs> Chickens are being chickens. I'm really happy with the speed of how they're growing and how um, how it's working out. I'm not exactly looking forward to butcher day. It's gonna be a hard day's work. It's gonna be a long, hard day, but we're gonna spread it out. It's not gonna be all at once. Yeah. Like that's just insane. It'll be a hard day's. Hard days. Yeah, hard work. day's work. But it's gonna be <sighs> nice though to have our freezers full of farm fresh, uh, Homegrown meat, it's gonna mm -hmm. be nice. Really healthy for my gout. Yes. Which I have been, um, as ha people have been wondering like how am I doing with that and stuff lately. Thank you so much for wondering and caring. Um, I've been pretty good at staying with the diet. I mean, I do have some red meat once in a while, but I'm taking my vitamins and doing everything that I'm supposed to do. And I haven't had any other flare ups. And also I've, we've really made some huge adjustments to um, to our life with balance and stuff like that, mm -hmm. which is brought my stress down a whole lot. And, uh, stress is really not good for, for anything. I mean, no. stress, if you have like an ailment, any kind of ailment, stress is only going to make it worse yes. and more pronounced. And yeah. Oh, look at the fireflies are out. Fireflies, everything's starting to, uh, let me shine it this way for a little bit. Maybe you'll get some. Come out and about. Oh, they're over there. Little glimpse here and there. They're over there. Yep. You see it? Yeah, I've seen it. Seen the little flicker, the flicker of light. Summertime in the South, friends. Uh, I remember the first time I ever seen a firefly. It was when we moved out here. It was three years ago. I was already well into my 30s, the first time I ever seen a firefly in my entire life, and it was absolutely magical. And every summer, every year, it's still extremely magical for me. I ha it hasn't uh, lost its appeal. It's still shiny and new to me, and it's still very exciting and definitely lets you know like, hey, the fireflies are out, it's summer now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like summer is here in the south. Summer's here. Yeah. You can hear those, uh frogs and crickets and the cicadas the cicadas uh, yeah <laughs> yeah that's another thing cicada mating season i think there was something that i read like around the eclipse time that said like this year two different breeds of cicadas are coming out of hibernation and it's mm -hmm. going to be like some it's a ridiculous mass. amount of cicadas are going to be coming out of the right. ground this year it's a mass um mating season oh joy which only happens you know every hundred years or so so the you know, last time it happened was like i can't remember 100 percent on it but i want to say it was like in the 1800s i like, don't I know remember. but it sounds about maybe not 100 sounds about right. sounds about right maybe it was 50 years mm, somebody I online is gonna listen that, somebody but. online is gonna look it up and they're gonna correct us because we're just spitballing off of our brain at least from what i remember <laughs> what they said at least yeah Anywho. it's all good man it's all good. it is what it is the sun is starting to go down right now we got a pretty sunset through the trees mm -hmm. you can see the oranges coming right through that way when the deck is all finished we'll have us a nice view from the top of the deck mm -hmm. it's gonna be so pretty it'll be super nice <sighs> 
I'm looking at my nightmare. <laughs> Don't dream of triangles tonight, babe. Dream I can't guarantee that. Dream of sweet things. <laughs> dream of happy times. I can't guarantee that. Dream of the lake. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Gary's instead of counting triangles or counting sheep, he's counting triangles. Counting the sides of a triangle. I'm trying to turn all triangles into squares. <laughs> <laughs> It's really, I don't know enough about it, but it doesn't seem like it should be too terribly hard. I know that you got this. You're so smart, Gary. You've got us this far, babe. I know I'll get it. You got us this far? I mean, sheesh, I have full faith in you. Quad trail, look where we are now. I know, I'm just, you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. It makes me sit here and wonder on her. The only advice that I have to say is quit your stalling. <laughs> I ain't gonna help. Quit stalling. <laughs> I ain't gonna help. I'll just say that I trust you and- I have a feeling I might, I think I might just box that in. To be quite honest, as much as I don't want to, as much as I wanna try to get away from it and everything else and just zap it and everything else some more, I'm looking at it from back here and everything I'm looking at it, I think I might just box that in. Mm. Box it into that little tiny spot. Square off this spot, making a nice line off of this end as well as over there. That will give us some good shade coming this way with the sun and allow a lot more of a rain stopping from going into that way. Give us a little bit of a break if it's sideways or a rain a bit, but still have this to be open completely. Mm -hmm. I think I figured it out. All right. Thank you guys for walking me through this. <laughs> Thanks guys. I need, you know, we couldn't have done this without you friends. We could not have done this without you, without your guys' love and support. You guys being here watching us and I'm not being condescending. I'm not being a smart ass. I legit mean that. Thank you guys so much. Cause see, we put him on the hot seat and he figured it out. I think I figured it he out. He figured it out. No, I think, think. you just I did. Think. You did. We're going with it. <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. I think, with it. I think that that's the right play. It is. While I'm sitting here looking back at it and thinking about it. And I would show you guys what we're looking at, but it will spoil everything for the video that I have coming out for you guys today. I worked my booty off today, not only in the background doing all the stuff for our obligations that keep us fed, um, but also uh, I edited a video out and stuff from earlier on that was in the can that needed to come out. So. <sighs> yes, today was very productive. <laughs> I have a video coming out for you guys today, so I'm sorry we're we're not spilling those beans today, but you at least not here on Real Talk. You will see it on Simple Life Reclaimed later on today, and um, we'll be with you guys again tomorrow on Real Talk, probably with a bunch of our friends, since we keep recording on the evening times, and tomorrow evening, which is today evening for everyone. See, now I'm crossing the hairs. But either way, when we record again, like we should have a bunch of friends and stuff with us. So maybe you guys will get to see some new faces on the channel here on Real Talk. Um, and we will be able to talk with you guys about all of the stuff that we are hoping to get done, which we're just trying to get closer to having that green board up on there, man. That's just like the big MO. Get the green board up on the roof. And then we can kind of like wash our hands of it for a little while. And, uh, you know, untangle the brain by working on the mudroom. I know that that sounds maybe like a bad idea, like changing gears, but it's good for the brain. It's good for the brain. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. All yes. Right. <laughs> <Yeehaw>. <laughs> you guys want to see something though? I will show you one thing. You see that? Do you see that? He's been staring at us this entire time. You fools. You are below me. You are beneath me, peasant. Fools. All of you. Now fill my can and scoop my litter. <laughs> all right, all right. It's getting dark, friends. We're getting a little delirious. I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with us for another Real Talk Babble edition. Um, seriously, I know, I know we say it all the time, but honestly, we couldn't do this without you guys. And I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart for sharing your time with us, sharing your laughs with us, your opinions, everything. Like your time is valuable. We see that. And thank you for choosing to spend it on us. We appreciate you. Yes. 
So we'll be back with another episode here on Real Talk with SLR tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have some friends with us. Yeah. And uh, you guys will be able to see a new video on Simple Life Reclaimed today. Yeah. And I don't really have anything else to say because my days are starting to get all tied in a knot. It's kind of, it's still a little confusing, but we'll figure this out together. Just a wee bit. It's all right. We'll figure this out it's together. Right. We got it. Yeah. We'll be all right. So we will see you here tomorrow on, on a Real Talk with SLR. So until then, friends, we love y'all and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.